Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about metallic paint. I'm gonna be testing out Dixie Belle's new Moonshine Metallics. I'm really excited to try these. They have five new beautiful colors. I'm gonna be testing out all five colors, showing you the product, giving you all the details on it, and I'm also gonna be making over my daughter's dresser, which I'm sitting in front of right now. So if you wanna learn how to use Dixie Belle's new Moonshine Metallics, just keep watching. Big surprise for today. I'm gonna to be giving away a set of all five colors. So make sure you check out the description box or stick around to the end to see how you can enter. So I'm gonna open all these up, talk about the product a little bit and show you each color. There's no need to do a base coat with this. I know they're old metallics. I never got a chance to try them before they launched these, but they had a base coat that you had to do to achieve shine over this. So I'm guessing that they have reformulated this so that it's gonna work a lot better. So as always, you just wanna make sure when you use this paint that your piece is clean. So you can use a little bit of white lightning to clean it. You just wanna make sure that it's free of dirt and grime. The directions say that you can apply two to three coats um, to produce opaqueness with shine or apply all over a similar color of paint. So I'm gonna start with Silver Bullet, which obviously is a silver color. So I shook this and now I'm gonna just stir it up a little bit to distribute all that pigment. I'm just using a chip brush um, just to show you the samples. Coverage is looking pretty good on there. Next up, I'm gonna do Steel Magnolia. So yeah, this is definitely deeper than the Silver Bullet. The Silver Bullet is more gray, and this kind of has more of a little champagne-y undertone to it. Next, I'm gonna do the Lighter Gold, which is Wedding Bell. You guys, I'm making such a mess with this one for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Ooh, this one is really pretty. It's just like pale, like a pale gold. So it's like really subtle. Okay, let's do the deeper gold now called Gold Digger. This one's really pretty too. This is like what you would think traditionally as a gold, gold color. Definitely more yellow than Wedding Bell. All right, the last color is the kind of different one, which is Rosé and it is pink. Ooh, that's really fun. The dry time on this is two hours. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more coats on all these and then I will come back when it's completely dry to show you what everything's looking like. So this is three coats completely dry of each color so you can see how beautiful and shiny they are once they're completely dry. Um, really great coverage, uh, loving the colors, very beautiful. I'm ready to start my project now. So I'm going to start by removing all the hardware on my piece. It's a little dated and I wanted to modernize it up a little bit. So I'm actually gonna remove these and fill all the holes with some wood filler. I am using this wood filler by Elmer's because I had it on hand. I like these a lot. They're really easy to work with because they're in the tube um, and they come in a bunch of different colors, but this one I'm just using natural since I'm gonna paint over it. So just follow your directions for dry time. For this one, it's about 30 minutes. So after I put this on and smooth it all out, I can come back and sand it after about 30 minutes. For deep holes like this, you normally do have to do a second round. So I did an initial um, lay down of the filler and then I came back after that dried and added more on top to completely cover those holes. I'm gonna use my orbital sander to sand down my wood filler for the areas that I repaired on the piece, including filling up the old holes from the original hardware. You don't have to use the orbital sander, but it is gonna go a lot faster if you do have one. But some sandpaper and a little bit of elbow grease will do the same things. I'm using a 220, so I I don't gouge the wood at all and I'm just gonna give everything a nice sand down. I'm done sanding so now I'm just gonna take a rag or a tack cloth and wipe off all that dust. The next thing I'm gonna do is use some cleaner to get my piece all cleaned and ready to paint. For this white lightning you do about uh, two big tablespoons per gallon of water so I just have about 24 ounces of water here so I'm just gonna do about a teaspoon and mix that up dissolve it completely, and then I'm gonna wipe it all over my piece. So after wiping down the piece with the white lightning, I'm just gonna take clean water and a clean rag and wipe off all the detergent. The last step in cleaning is just to take a clean, dry cloth and I'm gonna wipe down the entire piece to make sure there's no puddles and get all that excess water off. Before I start playing with the metallics, I am going to paint this entire piece in pink champagne, which is just a really, really light pink. 
I'm going to do the standard prep for this paint. Just shake up my can, stir it up a little bit, put it in a container. And then I always like to add some water just to um, thin it out just a little bit. I'm going to be doing a smooth application today. So I'm using a synthetic brush and I'm just going to do long strokes up and down and not be putting a lot of texture into this. So I like to do a long strip like this from top to bottom and then I'll go back up to the top and take my brush and just do one long stroke through it just to get rid of any brush marks. And then I'll go on to the next section. And I do, as I'm painting, I do keep spraying like a couple of sprays in there and mixing my paint just to keep it a little bit thinner. That's why you wanna keep it in a container versus painting out of the can because you don't wanna contaminate your can and you don't wanna be spraying water directly into your can. I painted this piece a while back with a bargain paint that really has not held up that well and I've never been a fan of the hue of the pink on here. So we're just gonna start with a fresh coat of paint in this pink champagne. And then once that's dry, I'm gonna play around with the metallics. I thought Gold Digger was a little bit dark for the look I was going for and Wedding Bell was too light. So I'm mixing them together in a one-to-one -one ratio just to mellow the color out a little bit. I based this pattern on the side off of a cork board that my daughter has in her room. Really simple, I just marked off every inch and a half, every three inches for each stripe. Then uh, used a level just to make my lines very straight and then taped them off for painting. I'm using my Dixie Belle mini angle brush. It's a synthetic brush. My technique is the same for this as it was for the first coat of paint I did with the pink champagne. I'm just doing long strokes up and down, keeping all my brush strokes in one direction. The paint goes on really well, especially if you have a coat of paint underneath. I ended up doing three coats of my gold color on the stripes here. I didn't want any of that pink coming through. And since that color is so light, it was coming through a little bit, but three coats covered it up completely. I had some paint stick to my tape, which, you know, can happen if you don't let your paint dry long enough. Um, and I had a little bit of bleed through. So I'm just going to take my pink and go in there and touch up those little areas. If you wanna avoid this from happening, I would just let your original base coat dry a little bit longer. I can get impatient and then I have to fix mistakes. So just be patient with it. For the top coat, I'm gonna be using the clear coat in flat. I'll be applying it with a Dixie Belle premium chip brush. You could also wax this if you want. I'm gonna use the clear coat just cause it's going in my daughter's room and I find it's a little bit more durable than wax. The way I work with this top coat is I just get a very little bit on the bristles of my brush, probably just like a quarter of an inch. I dip it in there and I wipe off the excess. And then I'm working with the paint here. So my paint strokes go up and down, so I'm doing the same with this. So you'll see that it's white, but it'll dry completely flat and clear. You just wanna make sure that you don't have um, a lot where it's really, really looking white. You wanna spread it out as thin as you can, and then just move on to the next section and don't go back and work over it again. It's best to work this in really thin layers. Um, if you put too thick of a layer on, it's not gonna dry. So just keep your eye on where you're putting it. Try to not overwork it. And it's better to do just really thin layers and you can always go on, go back in once it dries and fill in the holes and add additional layers. And I did order some new hardware from Amazon. I wanted like a really sleek, modern look and I thought these went perfect with the stripes on the side. So here I'm just measuring with a level and using a drill to put on the hardware. These are really affordable, so I will link them below so you can find them. My metallic paint project is now complete. This is what my dresser looked like before, and here it is after. I'm so in love with this. It was really different for me to work with something so shiny and bold, um, but it helped me get a little bit out of my comfort zone, and I'm really happy with the end result. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you want to be entered to win the five moonshine metallics, just make sure you're subscribed to this channel, subscribe to Dixie Bell's channel. I'll link that info below. Also pop over and be following me on Instagram. And then the last thing you have to do is just leave a comment below telling me what you'd love to paint with these metallics. Uh, thanks again for watching. I said that right. All the nitty gritty details about the contest and when I'm going to announce winners is down in that description box. So scroll down and check out all that good info. Send me any questions you might have in that comment section as well. And I will see you guys next time.